Hello everyone, this is Blender Guppy. Uh, welcome to the uh, Panel Cut version 1.2 update video. So first off, the changes are that the version number have been, will be displayed in the redo panel so you can see what version you have, Panel Cut 1.2. And also the ability to create presets uh, is here, just like in the uh, random flow operators and we also have the ability to uh, to create bevel offset on the uh, corners of the face islands that you have created and also randomize the amount of bevel you have here okay so let's test this out, test this out and we have the default result right here and so for example, I want it to like this, like that. And a bit of margin. So I want it to be like that every time I use the operator. So you can actually uh, save this preset using this button right here and name it. Uh, I'm going to name it 0, zero, zero 001 so every time I use the operator oops the uh, peer shop has been removed okay so panel cut you can just select the operator from here so for example uh, the uh, the preset that we saved has the clear clear sharp on and yeah so every time we use the operator we can just click this and we'd have the same result but let's not clear sharp so we can reuse this okay uh, you can also use this the restore restore the operator defaults because any this uh, any set any value you set here will be um applied in the next operation so you can use this to reset everything the operator values and start over again okay to delete a preset you have to activate it first then use the minus button and it's gone so that that's the only advantage of the preset uh, system that you have to activate it first before click on the minus button so the disadvantage with that is what if the preset is uh, using really high values that could potentially freeze blender with some topology so that's the disadvantage with that because you have to this uh enable that for the, enable the press it first click on that and then click on the minus button to remove that so i think the um they can change it to uh to be separate from this from this system here from the drop down and plus to just individually when you click this you have to select um, a particular preset again you, uh, it will show a sub you know where you have to click on a particular preset to uh, remove it not disable it first okay so but for now this is how it works so with the preset enable it or click it and then use the minus button to remove it okay we also have the material index very sharp and we have the merge the merge doesn't work if the margin is has a value and also with the bevel offset if this is increased the mod the merge is also disabled because the uh, vertices no longer align with each other so it doesn't make sense to have the uh, merge turned on or enabled after that because the vertices of the resulting panel cut object is no longer uh, aligned with this uh, with the with the source mesh. 
Okay. So we store defaults and play around the thickness and the depth, the margins, the height, and the bevel offset. Okay. Merge panels and also merge panels. I think this is the best um feature. You no longer you are no longer bound with uh with a non-destructed setup and now you can use a 3d printing with this as well okay so that is it for the update there will be more updates in the future as i increase this and this becomes more and more different than the uh random panels that random flow has okay so this is more dedicated to this will be more dedicated to the manual panel cat a technique rather than uh, using a random script to actually uh, create a, a maze of edges that will actually produce the cuts. Okay, so this is it for this video. If you have any questions, use the comment sections below or the, or the links in the description. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.